Hello and welcome back to IPSR Cast. So in this AI era, most of them are confused about their careers, like whether AI will replace them. Most of them are planning to shift their careers to a safe technology, uh, but they are confused about what are the trending technologies, what to choose, where to start, and things like that. So in this video, we are going to cover the basics of the emerging Red Hat OpenShift technology and the exciting career prospects it offers. And today we have Mr. Sin John Providence. He is the manager of technical services at IPSL Solutions Limited. He's a Red Hat certified architect and instructor with over 15 plus years of experience specialized in areas like Red Hat, Linux, Cloud and DevOps. He holds an MSc in Computer Networking from London Metropolitan University. He has experience working both in India and UK. He has trained candidates from America, Europe, the Middle East, Africa and the Asia Pacific region. So welcome Sen to the discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Arsana. So what exactly is this Red Hat OpenShift? Can you explain it? Okay, so um, it's actually a platform as a service from Red Hat because we know that in cloud, there are three types of services, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. So this is actually platform as a service from Red Hat, that is Red Hat OpenShift. So which is actually a combination of uh, containerization and container orchestration engine. So here in Red Hat uses uh, Cryo as the container engine and Kubernetes as the container orchestration engine. So we use this platform for deploying our applications in highly available and scalable environment. So traditionally we deploy applications and databases, but now we all know that we are in the new era of AI. So the industries, companies are looking for running their AI and ML based workloads in some platform. Yes, so OpenShift, Red Hat OpenShift provides an AI-based tool called OpenShift AI, which is running on top of Red Hat OpenShift. So we know uh, for running AI or ML-based workloads, we need CPU, memory, storage, network, plus GPU. So with integration with the NVIDIA, Red Hat OpenShift can provide GPU as well. So which means, in addition to the traditional application deployment, now Red Hat OpenShift is ready for deploying and running AI ML based applications. So you mean to say that not only now, but in future also, this Red Hat OpenShift technology is emerging, right? Yes, exactly. Because uh, as I told it earlier, in earlier days, we use OpenShift for deploying our traditional based applications and database, etc. But now we, 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 I mean, everyone is looking for running their AI ML based workloads. So now Red Hat OpenShift can manage that. So in future, I mean, from now onwards, I can uh, see that uh, whenever or wherever uh, OpenShift uh, is installed, the industry can run their AI ML based workloads without any delay. And for data scientists and developers, they will get a single dashboard in that they can run their workloads in a highly available and scalable manner. Yeah. So for someone who's looking to shift their career to Red Hat OpenShift technology, what are the career prospects? Okay, good question. Yeah. So um, uh, is someone, uh, regardless of any background, whether they are working in uh, our outside computer science or any other uh, department, it's okay. The only thing is the prerequisite for uh, managing OpenShift is we should have the understanding of Linux technology because uh, even though all technologies are advanced, uh, we should have an operating system running in the background or the uh, operating system is acting as the base for all these technologies like AI, ML, IoT, et cetera. So knowledge in operating system and also I told earlier, OpenShift is a platform as a service, which is a combination of containerization and container orchestration technology. So the basic understanding of containerization technologies like Docker, Portman, et cetera, will be beneficial uh, if someone looking to switch to OpenShift and also attending any courses related to OpenShift will be helpful for uh, getting a, a job in OpenShift domain. Yeah. What about the prospects for freshers in this OpenShift technology? 
yes of uh, of course uh, freshers also can uh, uh, join into this open shift domain because uh, open shift is a part of devops methodology because in devops we deploy applications in a containerized and uh, container orchestration environment so open shift is one of the uh, a, a platform as a service from red hat so if someone uh, who is new to these technologies they can start with the linux then containerization technology then container orchestration then uh, gain more knowledge about OpenShift and also air-related projects so that uh, freshers can easily adapt to this uh, OpenShift cluster domain. So what will be the next step for someone who's looking to start their career in this Red Hat OpenShift technology? Can you explain the career path? Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, is someone looking to uh, join into this OpenShift team, so the person should have the basic idea about operating system. So in IPSR, we design a course path. Uh, uh, like we, we start with the operating system, like uh, RHEL, because I remember when Red Hat introduced RHEL 8. So they, they, they said like, uh, now this RHEL 8 or this RHEL Red Hat Enterprise Linux is not just an operating system. It's a foundation for all these emerging technologies like A. ML IoT. So that's the reason we 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 focus more on uh, starting with the operating system that is Red Hat Enterprise version uh, nine. So in RHCSA Red Hat Certified System Administration course, we teach uh, how to administrate uh, rel based operating system. Uh, and with that course, uh, is someone can uh, go for international certificate like RHCSA, which will help uh, the freshers for attending new interviews and they will get more chance to get selected. So that is RHCSA, Red Hat Certified System Administration course. Uh, it contains two modules, System Administration 1 and 2. In first module, we cover the basics. See, since you asked earlier, freshers, uh, how they can start with this career. So. Uh, this RHCSA course actually starts with uh, the concept like open source. What is open source? Then uh, what is Linux? Then why we use Red Hat Enterprise Linux? Then basic commands and the structure of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Then in second module, we discuss advanced things like uh, storage, security, um, uh, then a uh, containerization, of course, because another thing is before we start with OpenShift, the containerization technology knowledge is relevant. So in our CSA course, we discussed that. Then after that, after working on these platforms like operating system and containerization technology, yeah, they can uh, go for DO 280 course. It's one of the Red Hat course, uh, which uh, enable you to uh, administrate a production cluster, a production of OpenShift cluster. So in this DO 280 course, so we will teach with the help of Red Hat Labs. So uh, once you join the course, you will get a, a, a ready a Red Hat OpenShift cluster. In that, you can practice how to manage the day-to-day -day activities of a Red Hat OpenShift administrator. So there we can uh, install applications. There you can create different projects. So in general, yeah. So uh, all the tasks related to a OpenShift administrator uh, you can manage with the help of a DUA 280 course instructor and uh, DUA 280 lab, which is provided by Red Hat. So in conclusion, I can say, uh, I mean, uh, the career path for a fresher or a experienced person, the prerequisite for uh, learning OpenShift is basic understanding of uh, operating system. So that you will get from RHCS course. Then, uh, and also the containerization technology, yeah, uh, containerization part also, uh, uh, containerization topic also part of RHCSA. So from this RHCSA course, you will get to know uh, what is operating system uh, and what is containerization technology. With RHC course, you will get the uh, idea about automation because for a fresher, uh, in addition to this OpenShift and uh, Linux container technologies, uh, Having knowledge in automation is very relevant nowadays because we know that uh, before AI, we were in automation era. So uh, AI with automation will be 
uh, very much uh, beneficial for a fresher or an experienced person. So RHESA, RHE, then two or two eighty course will help you to uh, go through this career path. So thank you so much, Mr. Sen, for your valuable insights on this Red Hat OpenShift technology. Thank you. So for someone who's looking to dive into this Red Hat OpenShift technology, I'm sure Mr. Sen have already shared the step-by-step -step career path on where to start from basics to uh, the advanced in this Red Hat OpenShift technology. If you're someone who's looking to shift your career into IT, and if you're confused about where to start, don't worry, our educational counselors can help you identify your passion and can guide you what to choose as your next step towards your career in IT. Are you confused about what to choose as the next step towards your career? Contact us and our educational counselors will help you out. If you have any IT related doubts, you may comment below so that we can help you answer those questions in our IPSR cast series. I will leave the link of the IPSR cast playlist in the description as well. So see you in the next video of IPSR cast. Thank you and have a great day.